Hello and welcome back to Waking Up. So today I want to cut down my tree and uh, try and plant my potato on the spare piece of dirt here. So I'll have some real food coming in. And I believe there's a chest in here. Yeah, so I guess I want to make my way in there and see what that's about. Um, and then there's another tunnel here, but it's got creeper spawners in, so... I'm not sure where, whether I need to go that way or that way, but uh, I'll head for the chest first, I think. But first of all, I want to make sure I've got a renewable source of wood coming in. So I'm going to make my way up here. Ooh, saplings. Okay, can't complain at that. Lovely saplings. Okay, and I've got a bit of lag today for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. So I'm just going to chop down this tree really quickly. And then uh, I can get started on planting things and checking out that chest. Another thing I want to do at some point as well is uh, box in my zombie spawner and turn that into a renewable source of zombie flesh and experience. I'm not sure how long I'll need that for but uh, I don't have any water and I can only plant one potato with the amount of dirt I have. So one potato at a time, growing really slowly. Hmm, I'm going to struggle for food at that rate, I think. I could use bone meal on it, but I don't have infinite bone meal either, so it's not the most reliable way. So I think I might stick to zombie flesh in tight situations. I'll eat my potatoes whenever I can, obviously. But if I run out of potatoes, then I'm going to need uh, some food. And zombie flesh is renewable with that spawner, so makes sense to eat it. Besides, it tastes good. So, just trying to chop down this tree and take as many leaves as I can with me. Try to speed up the degeneration process. And then we can get started. So let's go down. Knock all of this wood off. And as I got um, a spruce sapling, I think I'm going to plant that instead of oak. Because spruce trees tend to give more wood per tree than anything else. So, ah, there's another piece of wood up there. Take that down. I think I've got all of the wood now. Just check, because the leaves won't degenerate unless I've got all of the wood. Besides, I want a new tree growing, so... Oh, apple. Lovely. Take my sand back. So yes, I think I'm going to plant spruce instead of oak. So that I can get more wood per tree. Although I do have a lot of oak saplings now. For just in case. Uh, okay, what I think I'm going to do is move the dirt as well. Uh, let's fill that in. Got two pieces. I wish I had more. Right, okay, let's plant a spruce tree. There we go. Now I think I'm going to move the contents of my other chest over here, so... If I use this to store all of my spare items, 
Uh, my saplings. Guess I don't need an apple at the moment. String. Might as well keep my bow and arrows in there. Okay, that looks good. Grab some more saplings. Right, I will be back in a moment. Okay, so what I want to do is try and stop things spawning between my spawn point and here. So that I can get backwards and forwards relatively safely. Ah! Oh yes, and there's that iron block there. I need to check that out. It's probably a trap. But uh, all of that lovely iron is just tempting me. I'll go in the lava. Or die. Um, stick up a torch here. Really don't want things spawning around here. have to stick another one up here, I think. I certainly need one over there. Let's deal with the creeper first. There we go. Try and light this up. Okay, that should stop most things spawning, I think. I don't mind a few things here and there, but I don't want lots of spawning going on because uh, I need to get to and from my spawn point relatively safely if I die. Okay, I can handle one skeleton, but if there was like three skeletons, a zombie and a creeper, that wouldn't be so good. Speaking of creeper, wow, he scared me. Okay, well, I need some uh, stone anyway, so let's take some of this. Take some of this and let the light go around the corner. Ah, oh, that creeper really did scare me. I'm assuming he came up my stairs or something. Oh! Good thing I turned around when I did. Let's keep an eye on these guys. They're tricksy. Not sure whether he died or not. So I need to be a bit careful. There's another creeper over there. Ah. Again, I don't mind a couple of things, but I don't want loads of stuff ready to kill me at a moment's notice when I've just respawned and I have very little to protect myself with. Go away. Are you going to come for me? There. Sorted. Okay, so I guess I can throw up a torch here. I think we're pretty well lit up, for the most part. So I should be relatively safe. Okay, uh, I want to take that with me. And I want to take this with me. Uh, let's have a look in my chest. Okay, I can take all of this with me, I think. Why not? Completely migrate to my new home. I think I'm going to throw up a torch over here as well. Stop these things spawning in. Ugh. Had to land on the bridge, didn't he?
Okay, let's kill him the old-fashioned way. At least I can use the bones for bone meal now. Right, now I need a stone hoe, and I've got one down there. I thought I lit this up. Ouch. I must have missed a spot. Okay, and I'm hungry, and I'm not regenerating health. So that's not good, and I've still got things spawning over here. Grr. Don't really know how to stop them spawning now. I've got lots of lights up. I guess I've got infinite torches now, I've got infinite wood. Ha, it was the dirt. I heard a noise and wondered what it was. Uh, I think I'm just going to make a new hoe. Uh, they're not exactly expensive to make, so... Uh, let's throw down my crafting table. Get myself some sticks. And I really need to sort out my inventory. It's a complete mess. Okay, let's plant my potato. Excellent. So it may take a while to grow without water. But it should grow eventually. Uh, let's throw down my furnace as well while I'm here. And I can stick the rest of my stuff in here. Golden apples, spawn blaze, whatever I've got that for. Uh, I've got an arrow. My book. Ho. Hum. Can put my chests in there. I don't think I need to carry around all of this food either. So I might throw my mushroom stew in there. Keep hold of my steaks and my bread. Although at the moment I'm living mainly on zombie flesh. I don't want these two. Or that. But I will keep that. And those. Okay. So. Uh, let's have a look what's up this way. Oh no! Silverfish! No! Oh no! Okay, I really should have seen that one coming. Silverfish, of course. Oh, all of this is silverfish. I can tell because it's breaking far too easily without a pick. So all of this is silverfish. Silverfish, silverfish, silverfish. I am completely surrounded by silverfish. Okay, that's not good. Um, there's silverfish everywhere. Okay, well, at least I've made a way up. So that's good. Some lava. Ooh, I saw spawners. Skeleton spawners. That means infinite bone meal and arrows if I keep them. So maybe I should leave them. I'm going to light up for now at least. I don't want things spawning in at the moment like that. Okay, uh, let's grab this wood while I can. Uh, 
And then I can check out that chest, whatever it is. What do we have? Ooh, white wool. Okay, so I guess that's wool towards the victory monument. So I have my first piece of wool. Silverfish, silverfish, silverfish. Oh, great. I can't get out very easily. And I have to build my way out. Okay, that works. Alright then. Come on, leaves degenerate. Uh, I guess I can work on boxing in my zombie spawner, although I thought I had more cobble around than I do. However, with it all being silverfish, 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 I guess I don't have as much as I thought I did. And I wish you would stop spawning. I'm trying to light this up so you can't spawn. Oh, he dropped a carrot! Now I've got carrots and potatoes. Wow. Okay, that's good. Now I've got nowhere to plant it though. But carrots aren't really that useful except for night vision and invisibility potions. However, invisibility could be good. But I'd need a lot of gold for that. Who knows, maybe I'll get infested by zombie pigmen at some point in the map. Uh, but I'm going to store it in my chest for now. Um, okay, I really wanted some cobble so that I could box my spawner in. But I'm not entirely sure where to get cobble from anymore. I didn't realise there was so much silverfish around. Oh, that's not. Okay, this isn't silverfish. Okay, so I can take this. I'd like more or less a full stack of cobble with me. Need to be careful mining that way. Okay, that should do. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this, but I want to try to box my spawner in uh, so I can remove the torches and get zombies spawning, but be contained, and I want to be able to get in and out to them, to kill them, without them banging on a door constantly. So I need to think of some way of boxing them in quietly, if I can. I'm not sure if they can get over there. It's a diagonal. One block, but uh, not going to take any chances, I don't think. This is supposed to be a safe and secure home. And I don't think they'll spawn outside of this wall. I certainly hope not anyway. And I might as well take it over here. Why not? Uh, 
Um, I think I'm just going to box it in completely for now. And I can work on a way in and out later. Um, yeah, not quite sure how I'm going to do that at the moment. I'll have to think about that one. But for now, um, they can't get out even if they spawn. I think the reason that's spawning is because I put a wall between them and the torch. So they've got a bit of darkness to spawn in. Uh, I've got a tree growing, potato growing. And I've got my first piece of wool. Excellent. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I may collect some more wood and... Uh, work on how to deal with my zombie spawner and uh, when we come back I can face the creeper spawners Woo! and see where that leads I'm assuming that's the way I've got to go now excellent so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>